Hi, this is Joe and welcome back to the shop. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk about uh, Harbor Freight uh, uh, buffing and compounding pads. Uh, I picked up a while back a Porter Cable Orbital uh, Sander and it can be used uh, for buffing, sanding, uh, what have you. They did supply a rather large buffing pad uh, with the Orbital Sander and I've used it a bit with some medium grit compound and I really don't like uh, how it works. Uh, it works okay but uh, there's other types of uh, compounding pads out there. There's uh, polishing pads, there's compounding pads, there's buffing pads and they're all uh, various uh, coarseness. Um, this is not um, hook and loop. It's glued on to the bottom of the pad. They also give you in the kit that I purchased a adhesive backed a pad that screws into the orbital portion of the of the sander. But again most of the uh, commercial uh, buffing pads that you come across are hook and loop. So I really want to get a variety of different buffing pads that I can use. For example, I can start out with a coarse and use like a medium to a coarse grit uh, compound and I can do some compounding and then I can switch to let's say a little finer of a pad and start going and slowly working to a finer pad going all the way back to like a finishing pad for a high luster. So um, the other day I was over at Harbor Freight and I ran across um, Bauer and uh, Warrior has a series of uh, different grit of foam pads. Uh, they have a Bauer has a backing plate um, with a 5 24 thread uh, rated up to 10,000 RPM. It's a six inch pad and it ran right around oh, seven, seven, eight dollars. And their Warrior compounding pads were like seven dollars. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll post some uh, still shots that I took of the uh, variety of pads that Harbor Freight carries. And they're all uh, some of the other compounding pads that are a little nicer than this. Um, they run right around nine, ten dollars. So it's still not a bad deal if you go to the auto parts store and you look at some of uh, the uh, commercial available. Uh, compounding pads they're quite a bit more expensive so these are not too bad I have a project coming up where I want to do some buffing on the bottom of a sailboat so I'm going to use that but in this video let's talk about uh, the different uh, pads that are available and see if the uh, see if the uh, backing plate mounts to the porter cable and uh, then later in a second video uh, we'll do some evaluating on how these uh, how these compounding and polishing pads work. We've unboxed the uh, the hook and loop pad and the uh, the threads, the 5 16 24 thread fits right on the porter cable. Um, I'm assuming that that's a fairly standard uh, thread size for a lot of these orbital sanders, but double check uh, yours to make sure that it's 5 16 24 thread. So that's nice. It now has a hook and loop. Um, the construction of the, and this is a compounding uh, cutting foam pad so it's fairly coarse and the velcro on the back looks very nice so we can then put that on there it's not balanced but so we can uh, then take these use them uh, wash them out with uh, running cold water and put them back away so I'm rather impressed the price is really cheap on these things again it was like six seven dollars for the pad and six or seven dollars for the warrior pads and again I believe if you go to the auto parts store for the uh, there's some more commercial uh, pads available I believe they run right around fifteen sixteen dollars for the uh, Gero I hope I pronounced that correctly there's a, 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 a Gero I believe that's a it's a, a Canadian pad and uh, they run 
and they have a variety of different uh, coarsenesses on the pads. Uh, they run like $15, $16 a pad, and these uh, for the, the Warrior pads were right around uh, $7, $8, and then they had some uh, other different compounding pads for a little bit more money, right around $9, $10. So um, at the end of this video, keep on watching. I have some still images that I'll put of the variety of different pads uh, that Harbor Freight sells, but uh, at least initially, I really like what I see. Uh, pad fits on, the, the backing plate fits, fits on to the, uh, uh, my, my orbital buffer, and these are very reasonable in price. And again, I have a project coming up. We'll do another video of actually using um, the compounding pad, and uh, I may even go pick up a couple of the finer finer cut pads and see how they do with a finer uh, uh, polishing compound as opposed to a, a compounding or cutting uh, compound. So, uh, so that's pretty much for this video. This is a short and sweet one. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.